It was three long weeks ago that Borderlands hit cinemas. It's now on streaming because the film completely flopped. So I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Thought I'd sit down and watch this film. Is it as bad as what they say? Honestly, is it? And that's what I'm going to talk about now in my review. So let, let's find out. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to my review for Borderlands. Okay, first off, let's get, get this out of the gate. Um, I know nothing about the game of Borderlands, okay? I've never played it. Before this film, if you asked me anything about the game, I wouldn't be able to tell you one thing. I wouldn't be able to tell you about any of the characters, what they look like, or anything like this. So I have gone into this movie as just that, a movie. For me, there is no game. It doesn't connect to a game because in my mind, that game doesn't exist because I'm not a gamer. So does it work for me? The film's directed by Eli Roth of Hostel fame, who also worked on the screenplay as well. It runs for 101 minutes, one hour and 41 minutes. It's got an ensemble cast, quite a big cast, a lot of famous people, Kate Blanchett. Kevin Hart, um, Jamie Lee Curtis, Jack Black on some voicing duties. Yeah, and the story revolves around this, this ragtag group of individuals that come together to help save this girl. They go to this planet called Pandora where they have to, to work out a way of finding this vault and opening this vault up and, and this girl can lead them to this unimaginable power this sort of a thing um she's got her father who's the bad guy he's the one using her to try and get to this 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 um all, all powerful whatever it may be um and along the way there's you know there's action there's action set pieces there's gunfights there's um fighting of other types all this sort of a thing it's it's yeah that's pretty much the film that's, that's pretty much what the film is, okay? So I'm not going to go into any in-depth story elements. I'm not going to give you a story breakdown or anything like that. This is a review. This is my thoughts on the film. So what did I think of it? Okay, so I'd seen the trailers for this, okay? Let's be honest. I'd seen the trailers going in, and I thought it looked pretty fun, you know? It's Like I said, it has a decent cast. Um, Kate Blanchett looks great in the film, you know? Now, I know she was obviously, she, she's done some movies akin to this, shall we say, like Thor Ragnarok and this sort of a thing. So she has worked in front of a green screen. She was in Lord of the Rings, that sort of stuff. So it's not like she's out of her element making this kind of a film, although often she doesn't usually do this kind of work. And um, so I, I was intrigued by her casting. Now, like I said, I don't know nothing about the games. I'm assuming that these characters are nothing that they're how they're cast. It is nothing like what the characters are like in the in the games themselves, and that means nothing to me. Okay, um, like I said, Kevin Hart, I don't mind at all. Kate Blanchett's good. Jamie Lee Curtis is good. Jack Black, uh, you know, I, I used to like him at one point, marginally, not so much now. And my God, he's annoying in this. He voices the robot, the robot thing, and and and. He's bloody annoying. He, he truly is. Um, Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, a wonderful actress. She looks out of place in this film. She looks like she doesn't know where to look. She doesn't look. She looks like she doesn't know what she's doing. You know, the the lines are abysmal that she's got to deliver. She looks bored. You know, um, Kevin Hart completely miscast in this. He's, he's like the straight man. There's no humour from Kevin Hart whatsoever. He's the straight man in this. Um, yeah, so, so there's a lot of casting issues. You know, you've got a good cast, but clearly missed cast. Kate Blanchett, she gets away with, um, I feel without any, any, 
harm to her herself in this she was fine i thought she was the strong component in the film story wise it's it's a pretty bland story okay um it, it, it's, it's made for kids this is like a kid's story it's a kid's film um the violence is is very toned down there's no blood there's a lot of shooting there's no blood or anything like that you know you've got a lot of cgi special effects components in this film um <sighs> The CG ranges from, from pretty good to pretty dreadful with certain CGI backgrounds and things like that that are clearly backgrounds. You can see the elements of the film, certain parts that um, come from the game, those elements, you know, there's certain scenes that I'm guessing are kind of game related. We'll have to figure out a way through certain areas and things like this. Um, ultimately, it's, it's quite a boring film and... It, it, it feels very much like it's trying to um, trying to give you what Guardians of the Galaxy gave you or the Suicide Squad, those kind of movies with this ragtag group of people. Like I know they're from the game and that sort of thing, but it feels like it's heavily influenced by stuff like that that's come before. Stuff that's clearly far better. Um, so ultimately, yeah, this is... Uh, it's not a good film. It's not a good film. It, it's um, pretty boring. You know, does nothing fresh in its storytelling, this sort of a thing. Questionable for performances from decent actors. Annoying performances from other people. I mean, you know, I wish there was a mute button for that goddamn robot. Seriously, it was it was that that damn annoying. But is the film as bad as what people say? You know, at the moment, it's got a 10% critics consensus on Rotten Tomatoes and a 52% thereabouts um, audience score. 52%, about 5 out of 10. Um, I'd probably rate it a bit lower than that if I was going to rate it, in all honesty. For me, for me, it, it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It didn't, um, it, like I said, I didn't see it as being a bad film in that sense i just see it as being a very uninteresting mediocre boring film that's been done better before with some heavily miscast individuals in it that's just my take but yeah so not one for me most definitely um yeah apart from Kate blanchett she was good the rest the film done nothing for me whatsoever